mumbo number five. One hundred and thirty hours. One hundred and thirty hours. Doesn't seem like a long stretch of time. But that is the official gameplay that I have spent on one playthrough of Persona 5. Yes, as of Monday night of this week, I have completed Persona 5. This game has been my world ever since its release back in April. I got it on release day and I vowed not to play another game until I had completed Persona 5. And I finally did it this past Monday. And I know what you're going to think. 130 hours is a long time. How has it taken you April, May, June, July, August, September? Has it, how has it taken you seven months to complete one game? I'll tell you why. It's fucking hard. And when you keep on dying on the same bit, you walk away from it for lengthy periods of time. That's how video gaming works. Yes. Um, but that obviously 130 hours is the official game time. If you die within the game, you go back to your last save point. The time spent in that time does not get added to your official game time. So I must at least put 200 hours into this game because I kept on fucking dying and yeah um, but in all seriousness this game is possibly one of the best games I have ever played in my video gaming history uh, I've never played a Persona game before uh, the only reason I bought this is because there was a lot of hype around it. And I'm like, okay, a lot of hype around this game. And at this point, I was getting really big into my JRPGs. Because um, Final Fantasy had come out a few months before, and I have just completed that. And I was like, yeah, let's, let's get another JRPG. Uh, so Persona 5, so, ooh. so I went and got the big hefty Eat Your Heart Out edition, which is here. Uh, at £100. Um so I actually had no idea what I was walking into when I started playing this game. And, you know, I was playing it and I was getting really into it. And the best way I describe it to my friends is that it's Pokemon. It is basically Pokemon. In Pokemon, you have to catch Pokemon and level them up. And they, and they battle for you. In Persona, you capture Personas and you level them up. And they battle for you. In Pokemon, you have to go to eight different gyms. And, that, and when you defeat the boss of a gym, you get a badge. In Persona, you have eight palaces. And when you beat the boss of a palace, you get a treasure. And then at the end of all that, you have the final, final place. In Pokemon, it's the Pokemon League, where you face the Elite Four. In Persona, it's the final palace, where you have to defeat for angels and then the final boss really similar s engines going on here but you know what it was fantastic s the story was fantastic the characters were amazing i got emotionally invested in this video game i don't think i've ever got emotionally invested in a video game before this game broke me twice and not because of hardships of playing this game. It's because the story. The story broke me twice. And wow. You know, there were times where I was screaming at this game. There were times where I, I, I was like loving this game. And there were times where I hated this game. Purely because I got to a difficult part. And, you know, you just hate it. It's that FIFA syndrome. You know, when you can't do anything right in FIFA... And you lose, and it's just shit, and you think the world's against you. That's exactly how I felt when I got to a hard bit in this game. That's why between my last play and the play where I beat the game was a seven-week gap. Because I, I, me and the game weren't talking. 
It, it, it just didn't like me. So, you know, yeah. So, having a seven-month investment in a video game, not playing anything else, and having that relationship with said video game, you know, it's a love-hate relationship. I loved it, and it hated me. Um, but now that I've completed it, there's this void in my life, you know, because, well, I've got emotionally attached to the characters, like I've said, and, you know, I got emotionally invested, and the story was amazing, and, you know, it's just closure. I had closure on this video game, and I can't recommend this game enough to anyone. Out of all the games I've played in the past year, this game was it's the best game of the year if this does not win video game of the year but you all know what's going to win it's going to be either FIFA or Call of Duty because they win every year because it's shit then there is just something wrong in whoever judges the best video game of the year I don't know but I you know I miss this game already I'm not going to play I'm not going to have another playthrough of it because I know that, that there is a a second there's a pl NG plus version of the video game. Once you once you play through it once, you get to unlock a harder mode, and you get to play through it again with all your personas and your items from the first playthrough. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to play through it again. I'm not going to invest another 130 hours because I have other video games that that need my attention, like your children. Your children need your attention. You know, give your attention to every child. You know, but please go out and buy Persona Five. If you don't, then then there's something wrong with you. Something wrong with the world. Because, like I said, this is video game of the year. I don't care what anyone says. And you know, just just for the art and the characters alone, you need to buy this video game. I mean, and, and you know, this game is it's just put me behind on so many other video games. So what have we got? Uh, Mafia Three. Haven't played that. Final Fantasy X and X-2 Remaster. I haven't played that. Batman Return to Arkham HD Remakes. I haven't played them. Sword Art Online. Not played that. Final Fantasy Sub-Zero HD. Not played that either. Dang and Romper V3. You know what I reviewed two weeks ago, the unboxing? That's still sitting there. Do you know what the biggest atrocity of all is? Horizon Zero Dawn. I've got this two months after I got Persona 5. I haven't touched it. And do you know how much I've wanted to play this game? Seriously. And it's just installing now because it's got a big fuck off update. But it was worth it because Persona 5 was that good of a game. And I'm happy I got this, the, the collector's edition. I'm happy I got the steel book. And I'm happy that I did take that gamble on this game because it delivered. So, you know, please go and buy this game and just try it out for yourself. If you loved any Pokemon games, you will love this game. It's that simple. It's really that simple. So please go and buy this game. Uh, you know, I love it. it. And I hope it loves me. I love it. Um, and you know, in the future, I will play it again because it's just that damn good. Um, I'm going to be going. I'm, I will be buying Persona 4 Golden for the Vita at some point. Uh, go back and and buy that. Um, play that. See the different things. But also, there's the Persona 5 spin-off coming out next year. Uh, Dancing all night or sun all night or something like that. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure. Um, and you know, I can't wait for that to come out. But honestly, guys, go go buy Persona 5. It's great. It's absolutely great. Remember that. No, moan, I'm not going to sleep.